I am Jeremy the Grizzly Kimball, and this is Getting Down to Grizzness Podcast. So, out here in Arizona for fight camp, training hard. Um, my first day was Monday. Monday the 24th? Yesterday? Yeah. The 24th. Um... <clears throat> It was cool. I, my first day here, I was grappling, and in the middle of grappling, I I got told I'm a blue belt, and I got my blue belt uh, from under John Crouch, which is awesome. I'm a brown belt in Shinkatai Jiu-Jitsu under my dad, but uh, I want to start working the rankings at other gyms, too. So at the lab, I'm now officially a blue belt under their system, which is cool. Um, and I think it's just a respect thing when you go to the different place, no matter what belt you are, you wear a white belt, unless that instructor gives you, um, a belt, you know, I just think it's a respect thing, but, uh, that's good, and then we got to do Muay Thai practice at night, which is always fun, it's, I say it's fun, but it's terrible down here, because these guys are legit badasses, it's just a room full of badasses and it's great to go with them though you know um, um, but yeah day two did some circuits and some wrestling and my ass is fried but uh it just the start of this camp has been great um, knock on wood I'm healthy for except for a few scrapes on my feet from the mat I'm uh feel pretty healthy so I'm just working hard, trying to do what I gotta do. Um, tomorrow is sparring, but then that's only that's later in the afternoon, so I get the morning off. So I'll probably go for a walk or something, just to do something. But uh, I'm definitely not gonna push it too hard, because sparring is always rough. It's like two hours, and uh, it's just crazy, so... But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this process. It's it's been a while, and I'm away from home, away from my my girlfriend, and, and and all that, and my family, and and whatnot. And it yeah, it's tough. It is, but it's good. It's it's good to be stuck in in just a small room, and all I can do is practice. You know, there's really I mean, if I'm bored to practice, if not, well, I'm just gonna be bored watching my Xbox, which is. I think a good feeling. Um, and then eating healthy it forces me to do that. Arizona's hot as hell, so it's helping cut weight. Um, but it's good. I think people should put themselves in uncomfortable positions during their fight camps, especially. You know, but even just in life, I think people should force themselves in uncomfortable situations just to see how they handle it, you know, and, you know, mostly just working out hard, if, you know, if you have just a, a regular job and stuff, you should force yourself to, to work out or do something, you know, yoga, wrestling, uh, just weightlifting, anything really, just put yourself in an uncomfortable position for a little bit during the day, and, and that's how you're going to build, you know, that's how you make diamonds, you know, put yourself under pressure, that's how you're going to make yourself better and and it really like it always goes back to making yourself a better person really at the end of the day we're we're on a journey to be the best person that we can be and uh, I think just putting yourself under a lot of pressure does that you know and any any kind of like just stress stressful stuff and not stressful that you have to think about it all, all the time but stressful in a way where you do yoga for an hour a day or you do whatever you know you just push yourself physically and it pushes you mentally trust me you might not think working hard pushes you mentally but it makes you come out the other side going Whew, I feel better like I feel good I want to do more stuff and, and just do stuff like that I, I, I'd say but uh, anyways for me it's a whole few weeks of uncomfortable well good to go home for a few weeks of my routine and then I'll come back out here for the rest of fight camp and uh really on that last leg of fight camp it's where it's going to be the most difficult because 
you always want to see your girl and all that when you uh when you're beat up and, and tired at night you want to be able to relax with somebody you care about but I, uh, that won't be the case the last leg and I think that'll make honestly make the difference here for this fight coming up so you know um, and it, it just makes you reflect on what you're doing this for and what the pressure you have so I'm I got a lot of I feel like a lot of pressure, and uh, I really, really want to to make this happen, and I want this dream to, to work for me. You know, I don't want to be that guy who made it to a big show and then just lost and got out of it. Like, I, it, you know, I have a goal. My first goal is obviously to win my first, win a fight in the UFC, but then it's to do other things, and my mind's telling me, like, uh, go back to 85, because I could be a world champion. So, I don't know. It's it's process, and right now I'm just focused on June 25th, and then whatever happens from there will happen. But I need to need to focus on this and uh, focus on being uncomfortable, but finding that peace and that uncomfortability, you know, and that's huge to to be able to do. And it's difficult because I haven't been able to do it in. Who knows how long, you know? I have I haven't done this for a camp, and because you know, getting getting ready for my fight in Croatia, I didn't do this. I didn't, you know, I got hurt when I was supposed to, so I went home early to to just focus on weight cutting. And I go out, and it was a sloppy performance, but I won. And then I had a week to prepare for um, my UFC debut, so I didn't have time to come out here and get my mind right. But being out here gets your, gets my mind right, and. uh like I said, I th think it putting all this pressure and stress on myself creates the diamond I want it to. And uh, I'm ready for this. I just want to do everything I've, uh, you know, I, I just, I want to cross off goals off my list. And the first one is winning this next fight. And then uh, moving on from there, wherever I decide to, to land, you know. Uh, there's a couple two or five fights that I want, but I, I really, truly believe if I diet right and make my way back down to 85, I could be something special, and if not, a world champion, you know, something. But, no. You know, it, it's hard when, when you miss everybody and everything. And uh, and you want to be home in your own bed and want to do your own things. To not be able to just do that or not be able to just go see someone that you love and care about when they live two minutes away from you and now you can't because you're 12 hours away driving. Um, it's difficult, but it's a necessary evil. And... Uh, and just hard work really makes it all go by faster, I think, you know. Um, them, and I think that's the biggest thing out here is I work so hard just so I can fall asleep when I get back here. And it makes the time go by faster because you're just working hard. And then all you have time for is to eat your lunch, dinner, and sleep, or nap, whatever. And then go back to practice, eat, sleep, repeat. Pretty much every day I'm out here. So it's it's fantastic it's a fantastic thing that I do to just push my body and mind and uh, you know it's great and I get to catch up on some reading that I, I might be too lazy to do at home or just find something else to do because I am home with my friends and stuff and I can just be like eh, I'll just go watch a movie with my with my friends or something you know I don't have that here I, don't, I mean this time around I have Dylan with me and uh but, you know, he's got his mom out here, so he goes and sees her. And uh, I stay in the room alone and put that even more of that pressure on me. I don't want to not do great things, and I don't want to put stuff off. So, you know, I'm, I read, I write, and I get ready to fight. <laughs> Solid rhyme. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you know, and I watch a lot of the same things. I'm watching... Young Justice for the 15th time. 
but uh you know it's just one of those things where it's all mind numbing at the end of the day and that's all I want to do is numb my mind when I'm just sitting on my bed doing nothing but I uh I am enjoying working hard and I think everybody should and uh I do talk to my dad on the phone and my girl on the phone and and uh, it's good to know that everybody's doing fine over there um, and it's it's good that my gym is training and pushing themselves hard and everybody's out there working hard and improving that way we can start building that better that gym up you know um, kind of going through a rebuilding process there as far as the numbers go so you know, a lot of slackers and stuff I've I've asked to not rejoin the team and just uh, go off on their own. And uh, um, go find somewhere else if they're going to be lazy. And uh, some of them made that choice, you know. Um, some of them made the choice to not come back in, and I'm okay with that. I'd rather rebuild and have people that are consistent and in like a lab environment at my home gym um, so I, I would rather rebuild and do that whole process of getting the most consistent people I can and people who work hard you know um, I've got this new guy Dion he's been in there for a month or two but uh, he's, he's already like family you know hung out with us on Easter and and he works hard and that's really the biggest thing is we treat everybody like family, but if you work hard, you are really family. And he really is family, and I think that's um, I think I think that's how you should treat it. Like, if people are not going to work hard, then whatever. They don't need to be involved in anything else. You don't need those type of people in your life that are just lazy and uh, don't don't enjoy the process. And don't enjoy putting themselves through dangerous things, or not dangerous, but tough times. And I, I enjoy putting myself through tough times, and everybody that's there now is enjoying that process of making themselves better through pressure, putting that pressure on themselves. So it's it's great, and uh, I'm glad I have a few guys that can do that, and just hopefully can rebuild. And even have bigger and better things happen for us. You know, um, John Crouch down here said something that's been sticking with me. He was talking about when he first started the gym with Benson, and they were talking, Benson Henderson, and they were talking about they want every fight in the future to mean something for them. You know, not just Benson, but uh, everybody at the gym. They want everybody they coach, they want meaningful fights for those people. And now every fight is meaningful for them. And that's what I want. I want every fight to be meaningful for Shingatai Jiu-Jitsu, Shingatai Slaughterhouse, Colorado Springs, Colorado. I want that. So I'm going to redesign it to that way. We got a good wrestling coach, Justin Loudon. He's uh, amazing. He's an all-star, and he's helping everybody who, even if they don't have a wrestling background, become better wrestlers. I'm out here wrestling my ass off because of him. He's taught me some things, and some tricks that were working for me and I, and I really am happy that the Lord blessed us with that and it was the craziest way that it happened um, because the guy who brought him in doesn't even train because he doesn't show up and you know he doesn't have that drive but because he came in and brought his coach in now we have a great coach who has drive and, and we see him every week and I think that's great you know, it's crazy how the Lord works, but uh, it's amazing. You know, it really is. It's You just got to believe in the process, and the process of rebuilding I'm believing in. And, um, you know, even if it's one or two people right now per gym session, I'm okay with that, you know. Um, in the For the time being, I'm still going to the lab, working hard, and, you know, trading my ass off with guys down here but eventually I'll get it to where my gym does that and I won't have to go anywhere but like I was talking about earlier I still think I would come out here just for the pure 
process of that pressure building, just putting that pressure on yourself and, and just building something special out of you when you do that. But I still want it to be where my guys never have to do that. Like, I'm doing this so my guys in the future have a full team of guys that they can just work with and they don't have to feel the uncomfortability as far as leaving and spending money on it because the only reason I'm able to do this is at first because I'm, I have great parents that help me out, but also now because I'm in the UFC and not all those guys are in the UFC, so I don't want them to ever have to do this until it's necessary. I want them to be able to get better through our gym and I want to be able to put that pressure that I feel out here on them. Like just pressure them and, and not pressure and like, well, we're going to make them mentally drained, but that pressure of of making them work hard and, and making them, f- like, the craziest thing with fight camp is, is I don't know a guy who doesn't cry during fight camp, and I don't know the guys at the lab that well personally, so I don't know if they do or not, but every time I've ever ran guys through camp or seen guys do camp, they cry through that camp, they break down mentally and physically, but then they perform the best I've ever seen fight night when they go through that kind of stuff. And the guys who have easy fight camps kind of perform shitty, you know. So I think that you need that balance of good days, bad days, and everything in between during fight camp. And the more we do that and the better we do that process, the better I'll feel and not have to have guys go somewhere else. I want them to be able to stay and get everything I get out here at home, you know, and because it's still like, it's still draining if you do fight camp in the home state you live in, if, as long as you do it right, you know. Um, and for some guys, it's great to have them, you know, see their family every day, so they get to do that. But uh, as for me, right now, I don't have that luxury and And I, I come out here to, to, to train hard and focus f- strictly on the fight, which is great because I don't have to worry about fixing anything at home or anything like that, but I still worry about my family and everything. I want to see them every day and let them know I love them. I, mean, I still do that. I let them know I love them every day, but it just sucks to not get to to, to be there physically, but, you know, I don't know, it's crazy, it's a good process though, it's, it's the process that I wanted and, and, uh, I get to live by and, and show everybody that when pressure gets put on you, it can build, or build, it can make diamonds, it can bust into diamonds, you know. And, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for the finished product of this camp. June 25th in Oklahoma City. And right now I'm just hoping everything stays the same. But if not, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Change of date, change of opponent, if anything like that happens. Because I know the sport too much. But as of right now, I hope that none of that happens. And I just want to be able to fight the guy that I'm supposed to. And uh, put on a good showing. Fight, fighting is something I enjoy doing and I love doing. And obviously, <laughs> you know, but I do love coaching as well. So it also ups my game in that aspect. And so I'm, I'm, I'm putting all these pieces together, I think, in my professional life. And uh, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, get out, get out, get out there and do some great things in in life. And I, I want that for all my people. I want all my friends, family, teammates to be able to go out there and do great things with their life. And that's why I push people to to work and come in the gym and and do those things, you know. But then again, you can't make everybody feel that way because there's young young kids out there who still 
don't understand that life's a journey about making themselves better. Sometimes it just... It, it's easy to get wrapped up and be lazy, and I think they want to do that more than they want to be better people right now. Maybe a few years that'll change. I mean, I think there's a reason that most fighters are late 20s, early 30s, but... I guess I'm getting to late 20s, but I've been doing this my whole life and, and been focusing and working this hard my whole life. And For me, I guess I find validation when people validate me and say, oh, this guy belongs in a certain place, this guy's good. And uh, But I also find validation when people say that I should lose a fight or or I'm not good enough to be where I'm at. Because that just makes me work ten times harder and that makes me strive because I'm defiant till the end and I always will be. I want to work until I can't work no more. And I want to prove everybody wrong and everybody who believes me I want to prove right. And I think that's what val validates me and that's what makes me want to be me. I don't know. But, uh... Just this this process of becoming a better person in life is great and I'm not saying I'll ever be a great person I'm not a bad person I'm just a person and I want to be great I want to do great things but I want to be a great person you know I want people to I don't even want people to see it I just want I guess I want God to know for sure but I just want to be a great person period um, doesn't matter who sees it whatever I just want to be a great person now I want to be a great fighter and people have to see that so I also want that for myself but there's you know my f life is fighting and a lot of it revolves around fighting but there's other things outside of that that I want to do and I work for that too you know I do a lot of stuff that people don't see and I'm not going to talk about it until all those dreams become a reality and those goals get crossed off the list, but I do have other goals outside of this and outside of coaching that I'm working towards. So, you know, got to be on the lookout for all that future stuff, but, um, you know, obviously podcasting is one too, because it's, it's, an, it, it, it's joyful. I like doing it. You know, the first one was a little shaky, a little rough, but now doing it, I feel a lot better doing it, and I feel like I can talk and let my feelings out and, and all that stuff and release it to people. Because I think most people get scared of that, and after releasing the first one, I think I can do more. And uh, obviously I am doing more. So, mm -hmm. you know, and if I can just help... Um, anybody, just one person with these, I'll feel great in that aspect. Um, it doesn't have to be a huge thing. It doesn't have to be a million followers, whatever. I don't care about that. I just care about helping one person each time. And if I can do that, I think that that's a, a good way to go. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm enjoying the process of life. Um and I'm constantly making myself be in un undesirable, uncomfortable situations and putting that pressure on myself and I'm just going to continue to see where I go from there and uh, I think that's a good thing and I think the more stuff I do by myself also makes me feel more independent which I've always been somewhat independent but I want to be smart enough to be independent to be able to do my own things and and not put myself in any dumb situations or or me make any mistakes that you know could get you in trouble or anything like that so I'm just trying to be independent not need to ask for help about anything and, and be smart enough to do that and that's why I think I continue to adapt grow learn I'm learning more now than I ever did in school, and that's by pure 
Well, people around me helped me learn a lot, which I'm thankful for, especially my dad. But uh, I'm trying to learn on my own, too. Just uh, reading more. doesn't matter. Just anything. Just pick it up, read it. Um, put myself out of my comfort zone and try to read books that normally I wouldn't understand, and I try to force myself to understand it. You know, um, I was going through a phase pretty much my whole life just reading books about fighting and, and that mindset but I had that mindset down I want to learn about anything really science how the world runs you know animals not really math because I hate math but uh, just anything I'm trying to trying to put myself out of comfort zones all the time with everything and and I think I'm trying to understand stuff better, trying to trying to learn, trying to be a better fighter, trying to be a better person. Just everything that blended together, I'm just trying to make myself as whole as possible. And uh, I think I think I'm working on that, and I feel like I'm closer and closer each day. But then there's days where I feel like I did nothing to better myself, and those days are fine too, you know. Those days are always going to be there, and they're always going to be fine. As long as the days that you work to better yourself outnumber the days you do nothing. I think that's the way you make yourself out to be a diamond, you know? And, and I think every one of us has that diamond in us. It's just, what are you willing to do to be that? How far are you willing to go? How, far, how much do you want to learn? How, how how hard are you willing to push yourself to your limits mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually all of that what are you willing to do to be the best cut diamond you can you know and uh, I will refuse to get stagnant that's what I'll refuse to do I made that promise to myself and I hope people out there make that promise to themselves too just don't be stagnant don't give up on learning and becoming the best version of you and once we do that we've won because we're gonna focus every day on improving and uh, little things little things count little things matter um, I just think we all we all need to be the best so I don't know another getting down to Grizzness let's get to Grizzness the Grizzness podcast something along those lines I'm not quite sure what I want to name it but anyways um, just another insight to the ramblings that go on in my mind nothing very special just thoughts that I have um, and hopefully again this helps somebody I appreciate anybody who listens and uh, I love everybody and um, just keep grinding keep moving forward keep improving every day the best cut diamond you can be. Be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 carat as opposed to just a 2 carat. You know what I'm saying? Be that cut diamond above the rest. I don't know shit about diamonds, but I know the higher the carat, the better. That's all I know. I don't even know what the highest cut is. So, be the highest cut diamond. That's That's what I'm saying. Don't don't be a boast cut. Um, be shiny, love one another, do all that great shit. Um, this is Jeremy Grizzly Kimball. Look out for me, June twenty fifth, Oklahoma City. As of right now, love y'all, and uh, we out here grinding. <laughs>